it's been proven to me lately that, um, like, people's septic systems, like, say we're out here in the country and there's, like, a leech line off of our septic system, so the poop that I poop goes down in there, then it goes out with the water and kind of seeps along some gravel under the ground, out along into the general soil. But see, the problem here is nobody's putting trees to handle that septic situation under there, over there. Everybody discourages from anyone putting trees over their leech lines, which is ridiculous because there's obviously types of trees that can deal with that bacteria and it'd just be a known fact that those type of trees do that, you know what I mean? And you wouldn't mess with them. You wouldn't, you know, burn their wood in your campfire, for example, because uh, you might, you might smell real, real bad, you know. <laughs> Cold, hearty, fragrance-filled cherry blossom trees that don't grow any fruit. Yeah. So you know, there's a high yeah. smell ratio. I don't that's know, true. Something, something like, like that. that. Something yeah. High acid. Something that's really like. Yeah. The other issue with this is. Um, I have to be around the biggest bacteria cultist of all time, as my parents supposedly, so they invite everyone over who's the worst cult connected, then they take a shit in our fucking bathroom, and what do you think happens? I have to take a shit into the same septic system. What do you think they're fucking doing? And if I take a shit up in the other house only, then they start shitting yeah, up there Yeah, then they shit frequently. up there more often, like they... Follow me and shit where I shit. I'm not kidding you. They think that everything's a bacterial war and there's no such thing as humanity. I don't know what level we're living on, but boy, they sure don't act very human most of the time. Yeah, so in, in all honesty, uh, it would be nice if I could have a small trailer that's actually in excellent condition. Yeah. That's well sealed. So that that way, I could take a shit in there in the middle of the Yeah. Room. Just saying. But also, I was just thinking... We're going to set up a whole forest, so on one side of it, we could have special trees out away from it a little bit, and set up another of our own leech lines, for example. I could just do it myself real quick, if I had, like, a backhoe. So, uh, you know, there's backhoes now that are real fancy, have all these abilities that do all these fancy things with their wheels, and twist all different directions while still scooping and stuff. So, a basic backhoe should cost, like, $5.00. It's just scrap metal, basically. But everybody around here acts like a basic backhoe from, you know, the beginning of time is worth, oh, that's thousands of dollars, that's t millions, whatever, you know what I mean. So, like, I'm just saying, um, like, I need my own setup because they'll always just be cultists who think that they get to, you know, mass group up take a shit wherever I am, work their way in, insinuate their way in, then act like they get to somehow live longer and harass me from my bowels or something. They're insane. That's the way they act. Yeah, and it's creepy. And if yeah. so, here's to my general philosophy. If somebody's going to act like they have a strategy that they think would even slightly work, I'm so superstitious, it's part of Wiccanism, that I believe that I should guard against whatever idea yeah. I'm pushing for, even if it doesn't work, and it's weird superstition by them, and well, make an effort to keep my yeah. shit protected, literally. Yeah. As it turns out, at great cost, they have had some effect at ruining my health through spreading their shit near me, even into my septic system. It does affect you. So... I'm not saying it should, I'm just saying um, everything's breaking down, you know, uh, including everybody that is the shit, so I guess we'll have a new system eventually here, but in the meantime, I've never gotten power equipment to do anything. Then when we do, it's always the stupid orange brand that barely functions, and uh, oh man, if it's cold, it'll never function. Whatever that brand is, like Ryobi or equivalent, you know, like come on, just give me a fucking break. I'm the one supplying all the fruit, and I get no money, and it is rigged. So yeah, I just gotta build up my sexy trees, and you know everybody should do this. 
and then they can have their own private secret leech line where they go out where their trailer's all hooked up to it and out there and where they smoke their weed and then it's like you know most of the time you can just take a shit out there and smoke your weed like that's my ideal you know like this is something we gotta push Brad Pitt approves Brad Pitt approves if he wants to briefly appear in the Barbie movie doing that I already said that he should be in the Barbie yeah. movie uh, I don't really give a shit he can be as fucking stupid and as real to his own idiotic self as he wants to be as long as it's Barbie we can cast him and Angelina Jolie because I think they should date. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I'm serious. Like, showing off. Like, dude, you want to show off how you do it? Make it look fancy or grungy the way you don't do it. So like, you can hide the way you live. You don't want to show off your own trailer because then people might voodoo into it. You know, while you're smoking weed. <laughs> You know how he thinks. That, that's how Brad Pitt thinks. Yeah, he does. I just want a trailer to shit in. Yeah, so it's your shit and weed trailer, you know? And probably sex, too. Why wouldn't it just serve all purposes? Like, fuck, you know, the main house is just for greeting, you know, strangers. Then you slip out back to your love shack, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you always put everything that way? Because I hate putting... I hate that song so much, so I have to make everybody else tortured. I'm sorry. I'm a vicious, I'm a vicious mental thug. Anyways, yeah. Giant snowball bushes is are one thing that people commonly put over their septic lines to deal with the soil.